Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the internet. I'll be your internet host. And I'm going to be playing in this beautiful War Phantom League. Do I have five tokens yet? Oh, if I do, let's get her done. Let's uh, get her done. Just around the internet. Let's open this Modern Horizons pack before we open this Modern Horizons pack. Oh, we got a little uh, elemental and a construct. Nice. Here we got this Astrum's Arcanolabe. Arkham's Astrolabe. That was backwards. There we go. And then we got, uh, what else we got here? We got a snow-covered boy. And we got a little, little, little shitty mythic here. In the form of... Never gonna, never gonna focus on that dude, I guess. Okay, well, it was a Morphon, the Boundless, so... Thank you! And what are we taking here? Probably Smiting Helix, right? Skeletal Cat, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Sharing to get rid of this notification. I wish Frank a very happy Monday. Happy Monday, buddy. I think Smiting Helix is probably better than Lightning Skelemental. I think. Carrion Feeder. Carrion. Oh, man. The Unearthed Skelemental deck? That could be a real thing. I wonder if carrion feeders we want to be, or we just want to take this fountain because we drew a smiting helix. Gargantua is also good. I think it's one of these three. I'm leaning towards these two. Or this guy. Hmm. This kind of puts you in like a black... I guess there's a black-red sacrifice deck that we could try. I have a fiction on it. I hope you killed it. I hope you killed your interview. I hope you straight up murdered it. And I hope they call you tomorrow and they're like, there were there was no candidate even close, buddy. And then you'll be like, I know. I know. So, I guess... How was dinner? Dinner was all right. Dinner was all right. We went to Sunny's and had some barbecue. I think it might just be the Blade Black Sliver. I don't think any of these cards are super exciting, but we're not even red yet. Eh, whatever. Force of Negation? Wow. Probably just taking the igneous elemental here. His genuine goodness? What happened? What did I do that was so good? What what goodness are we talking about here? Uh, oh, Mana War? I think Dragonheart's probably fine. Ten little bitty boys. I'm going to take this goat nap, I think. Because we already have Dragonheart and Carrion Feeder here. So this is basically just removal if we have one of the dudes out. Diabolic Edict. Ooh. Ooh. I like Pondering Mage a lot. Ten more little bitty boys. Bitty boys coming through. I'll take an Edict, sure. Why not? Oh, oh, ten more little bitty boys. Did you know you look like Keanu Reeves? No, I did not know that. This is a, this is a news flash. <laughs> You're breathtaking. 
Oh, man. Oh, you sounded so horrible when you told Avid Fiction out. You hope I did. I totally hope he killed it. I hope they look at that and they're like, guys, I don't even know why we're still interviewing this candidate. Absolutely destroyed it. I'm going to take this Selimgar scavenger. Oh, another goat nap? We can nap all the goats. How many freaking pondering mages are we going to get past? And a moonblade shinobi? Of course the one time we don't draft blue is the time all the sweet blue cards show up. Pfft. Typical. Just around the internet. Anyone else think Keanu may have been a little toasted? I don't think so at all. I don't think he, I don't even think Keanu is the, the kind of guy that gets toasted. I just think that's his general persona. Uh, if this is an instant, I think it'd probably be playable. Either way, whatever. We'll just take it anyway. Uh, changing outcast is fine. This guy's. Meh. Eh, maybe it's in time for six. It's six points, right? Hey, I got my cards there. That's amazing. Mag Why are there? There's always a pyrophobia and a magmatic sinkhole. Magmatic sinkhole in the same pack. I don't understand. I think it's still sinkhole. I think sinkhole is still better than pyrophobia. Oh my god, this guy is nuts. Another mana war too? Good lord. I'm gonna take this Pashalik Mons. That's un that's unbelievable. Oh, I'm gonna take this mob here. Oh man, this deck is looking good. This deck looks... Oh, actually, no. Sling Gang Lieutenant. I'm an idiot. Wow, that was... I almost took a mob over a Sling Gang Lieutenant. What a joke. What an absolute joke. Okay, what... I'm not going to play you. You're on the fence. Okay, oh, foil goblin token. That's nice. And then, this is actually sick. We got a foil, a force of despair token, the uh, the Seb McKinnon art, which looks insane. Because Seb McKinnon's art is insane. What up, Chris? All right, then we got this, this mountain, which is hiding a so... That's a foil sword of truth and justice, my dudes. Oh, hot shit. Look at that. Look at that foil sword of truth and justice. Ooh. Ooh. That's hot. And then we got an astral drift. But I'll never tell. Because it's it's hidden. Ooh. I don't know what that dude's going for right now, but it's got to be something, right? I'm going to take this Kaya's Guile because we're already trying to play Smiting Helix, so I think we can splash a white here. I guess when you cheer 10 bits five times in a row. I only have, for Goblin Tribal Draft, I only have so much, I only have so much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I think we're taking this Ravenous Giant here. Another Igneous Limit is good, but 5-5 five, five for, for 4 is just good stuff. Buy it now for 60 bones? Good lord, that's nice. Yeah, I only have so much ADHD. Yeah, we'll take the giant here. Well, yeah, we'll take the giant here. I'm, a little, I'm okay with that. Etchings of the Cho- Etchings of the Chosen. You could literally name Goblin with this thing. With the way our deck is looking. 
which is tempting very tempting oh and also it's also a, it's oh it's sacrifice creature the chosen type <laughs> i'll take it because i don't think we're gonna play a second diabolic edict and maybe it ends up just being decent we'll see our deck is looking pretty good this guy is also cheaper if we have a land in the graveyard this guy's cheaper this guy's cheap so none of these cards are actually six mana <laughs> they're all like some sort of discount so that's pretty cool Secluded step, slivers. None of these cards are any good. Just disappointing. There's not many stores until the full sets. What are you talking about? Oh, the full art tokens. I think it's actually just secluded step. Maybe not. That doesn't make any sense. Probably just cleave. Eh. It's probably goblin champion. It's a goblin. It's small. Cave of Tempt... Oh, Putrid Goblin's probably better than Cave. Yeah, Putrid Goblin's great, especially with... Pashilic Mons, or, you know, whatever. Whatever your name is. Creatures control them. Plus two, plus two. Oh, just gain all the creature types. Yeah, whatever. Oh, wow. This guy... Oh, wow. 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 Oh, I think it's this guy, and I think we'll get another one of those other guys. Ooh, Unearth is nice, especially when we have uh, some decent things in here. Yeah, I'll take another goat nap, I guess. Rank Officer is playable. More like Frank Officer. Got him! Okay, we're going to open another pack, because we're going to another pack. Pack for pack, guys. Also, just to, just to remind you guys, this pack was actually sent to me by Jake P., otherwise known as Guardian and or Spectral Links on different uh, accounts. And every time I mention his name, I see the first sliver. It's unbelievable. And another pack with Magmatic Sinkhole and Pyrophobia in it, which is very strange still. Uh, here we got a bear and an elemental. A bear and an elemental. And then, ooh, this is really sweet. Remember that Remember that artist with the, the art with the lotus in it? There it is. Also by Seb McKinnon. Seb McKinnon is just killing it. And I just dropped it on the ground because I don't even care. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's Future Sight. I thought it was a Force of Negation. It was not. It's just a Future Sight. But that's okay. And we got a, the other thing. That's okay. Um, I think we're just going to take the Pyrophobia now because we have one sinkhole already. Force of Rage. It's not very good. I'm not a big fan of Force of Rage. This could be, this could be our third Mana War, guys, just so you know. Hmm. But instead, it's not. I think it's still Force of Rage, maybe? Kind of just wins out of... Could, could just win out of nowhere. I like that it says Sacrifice at the beginning of your next upkeep, so you could actually... You could make them at the end of your opponent's turn, and then they would die, so you wouldn't get to attack with them. Like, you, you used to be able to, like, make them at the end of your turn. I still think it's the pack. I'm not going to play Ransack. I'm not going to play a second return. I'm not going to play a uh, second Changeling. We already have two Goat Naps, and that feels like a good amount. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each Vampire you control. There's, like, no Vampires in the set. It's such a weird card. I guess it's... Just take the sliver, I guess. I mean, he does grow when your stuff dies, sure. But you're still playing a 1 1 for 2 black. It might just be the pick still. I don't know. That pack's not super exciting. I kind of want this Fountain of Icker because it lets us play both uh, Kaya's Guile and Smiting Helix. The only other card I'd consider would be like First Sphere Gargantuan. Baron Moor is nice. I like Baron Moor a lot here because it does let us... Uh, we can cycle it for um, Igneous Elemental. Oh, Baron Moor is nice. I like Baron Moor a lot here because we could cycle it for uh, 
igneous elemental. I think the matrix just broke, guys. Um, I don't think we need Orcish Hellraiser. I think I just want the second Baron more. Whenever you cast instant sorcery, put a reverse counter on it, then deals damage equal to the reverse counter, target player, planeswalker. So, like, I think we're just taking this guy. Another carrion feeder? <whistles> Definitely taking that. Yeah, the bird is good, but we already have one, so I'm not, like, super interested in multi-blue. Multi-blue, not that's what I read, uh... Multi birds, multi multi five drops. Oh, vampire goes when any creature dies. That's actually significantly different. When it, or another creature, yeah, that's pretty. That's not bad. Oh, it also puts things on changelings. Let's not forget. You guys probably didn't forget. Whatever. I'm taking this. Doesn't matter. Did they like fix the bug? Like I'm, I'm like rushing to take these last picks. I kind of like this other changeling in the deck with the vampire. Pashalik Mons is greater when we have the. Uh... What do you call him? When we have the um, the the four mana card that makes multiple goblins, I think we're gonna cut the guile. We're probably gonna cut the fountain. Two of these I like. Two of these I like. On Earth I like. Champion's kind of meh, but like, yeah, it's pretty meh actually. We also have two putrid goblins, which is great. Blade Black Sliver's kind of rough but like I mean it just does something when you have no cards in hand the goblin like I oh, actually I'll play cordial vampire over that guy for sure yeah that seems much better two goat naps is great because you have a bunch of sacrifice outlets two carrion feeders and uh uh bogarden dragon heart and well, like, probably not this unless it's a changeling that we steal, but nonetheless. These are all fine. Yeah, I think this looks good. I don't like that we can't actually cast the uh, the Smiting Helix the second half. I mean, it might be worth playing just Fountain over something else. Might be better than Diabolic Edict. Because then we're just getting a new, another use off of this. But you have to draw it. 9, 6. This is, this is 9, 8, which I think is fine. But I also think this is fine on its own as well. We'll play it like this. We'll see how this goes. And now the draft is done, we can open another pack. Foil Golem. Foil Golem. Pretty sweet. What is the art card? The art card is Dregscape Sliver by Zach Stella. I will play first. And then we got Snow covered boy. Which you'll never see. Followed by a crashing footfalls. 
and then a, go a goblin or flam, a hollow head sliver, and a birthing bows. Okay. Okay. I will keep this hand. Chris, nicely done on the link. Really appreciate it, buddy. You're going to make the biggest scorpion wizard bird this world has ever seen. Why am I doing this, like, Bostonian accent right now? I don't understand it, but I accept it for what it is. Actually, I should have played the black so we could cycle this, but... I like having uh, the option to have double red or double black next turn, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, wow. That's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven lands to three spells. That seems good. That's a, that's a, a fair rate. Look at that, dude. What a little booger. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody names Creature, right? They named creature so they got one mother bear and one ruination rider of which they can cast neither so that's fascinating <laughs> do you typically cast keep hands where you can cast all your spells and have mana left over sometimes I try to Uh, this guy. That guy's going to track me down and beat me. It's possible. Cycle that tectonic reformation. Tectonic reformation. Bear, 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 bear. You guys know the Red Hot Chili Peppers? That's what we're doing. We're doing a little Red Hot Chili Pepper meme. I got this fan going. It's actually relatively cold in here. This guy's whenever it dies, you may have a deal damage equal to the number of land cards in your graveyard, so two damage to something. Oh, we got an early loot. Getting rid of that Spring Bloom Druid. Oh, look at this dragon. Oh, I'm a little dragon. Uh. I feel like, yeah, if I was like, if you attack here, it's pretty aggressive. Well, we don't need the mana for anything. And I don't want to get rid of this because... Obvious reasons. Oh, alright, that'll do. <laughs> Is that game? Like, they block 2-2, two, two, they take 3, so they go to 8. Uh, we go 7-6-5-4-3-2. It wasn't game per se, but it was pretty close. Man, they got those stupid bears in their graveyard. What's that about? What's the deal with the bears? Yeah, we'll keep this hand. We got a goblin into a, a Pashalik Moors.
why not arena i also don't have any problem with magic online i think uh, modern horizons would be fine to draft on arena but like i kept meaning to go into it there's oh oh this is awkward um on youtube i meant to make a video about it but like there's 50 like there's like 54 or 34 mechanics in the set that are not on arena along with 254 cards that are not on arena so like it seems like it's kind of difficult to uh to implement that for a set that's not even legal in a format that's on arena <laughs> so it just seems like a kind of silly a silly endeavor what up mean mugger they're always gonna name creature right oh they chose land oh they hit two lands that's pretty good and a lava dart We could go Fountain of Vicar into Putrid Goblin. Is that better than just making two goblins here? I don't know. Maybe. Just got an update from Monster regarding the drafts being all funky. The couple times in the past I've had reimbursements were usually solved. This is their email I got telling me that they are experiencing higher than usual customer service requests and they will resolve it as quickly as possible. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, sh no shit. Like, I, not not to you, but like to like to them, obviously. Um, but like, yeah, of course it is. Like, it's insane. Oh my god. We can steal this and then shoot them. That seems insane. One, two, three. How much damage is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have zero lands, so it's not going to deal any more damage. So it's still eight damage. And we can pretty much play everything, right? sure oh they just conceded okay <laughs> well this is a good game whoa solid strategy well this deck seems good i'm sorry we we're, we're experiencing a higher than normal i didn't even get that i didn't even get that that email response oh wait maybe i did right now nope i did not yeah i haven't gotten any response about it yet that's pretty hilarious Like, it's just, like, the, the issue's been going on for three weeks, and, like, why haven't you fixed it? This is, yeah, this is, this is regarding the last, like, three picks that, like, get auto-picked for you, and you don't even get to see what the picks are. Yeah, it's literally game baking. There's there, game baking. There's literally game baking. It's it's totally game breaking. There's tons of like, there's tons of last cards in the last two and even three picks, uh, three and even two picks that uh, that could be relevant for your draft. Oh, I like this. This hand is great. Turn one outcast. Turn two vampire. Yes. And we opened a goblin slash a spider. Whoop. There's a goblin. Thank a spider. You. You guys, you guys know what's going on. And the art card is... Oh, how, how convenient. It's Pasha like Monzi. Monzi himself. What up, little Monzi? I mean, you'll never know because the... There we go. I, if I angle it down, it does a good job of, of focusing, apparently. And then we got this, this land into... I don't know what this is. It looks like a foil... Nothing? You know, spiteful sliver into... Wall of bl wait, that's oh, that is a rare. Oh, I thought that was just a. Oh well. Wow, I was so sad that I was like, oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a sort of like a foil card. It's my bad. Give him the old U two.
Get him. Just get him. No blocks, as you can imagine. Feel free to bounce this dude to... Oh, no ninjas. No ninjas. Oh, that's a good guy. Oh, that's, that's good too, though. Yep, that's fine. Oh yeah, this card's much better now that it's any creature. Woof! Oh, and it's a vampire? Oh, buddy boy. Woof! Woof! It's getting hot in here. Here we go. 6-3? Oh god, please don't be anything good. Oh, this guy, huh? Okay, well, that card's insane. Yeah, that's pretty scary. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yep, that card's busted. That's really unfortunate. I love getting that ninja. Yeah, I imagine you would. It's, I mean, it's a rare, so I don't know how frequently you're getting it, but yeah. I, oh, you, you, really, Mike? You like getting the five four that literally steals two cards from your opponent's library? Uh, you, uh, okay. Fascinating. God, do I just take ten here and give you like two free free hits? Like, I feel like that's just way too bad for us. Yeah, I don't think I can actually not block this. I mean, they've played three rares so far. Uh, an uncommon and two rares. So, <laughs> not really feeling uh, great about our... Yep. Land would have been great because we can return and then play also Venomous Changeling, but... Alas... Well, they go to five. We take seven and go to one. And if we can hit them with this guy, then they just die. But Diabolic Edict seems okay here. Well. You get to go here in the four drop spot. I'm just going to submit like this. I think it's fine. I will play first. Oh, look at that. Single black, double black. Three mountains. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a quick round. I'll keep it.
It's your boy. Uh, no blocks. Cycle unearthed. Aggressive. Hmm. Pretty sure we're just playing rank officer discarding on earth here. <sighs> yeah, that seems fine. Aggressive. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this bird is only a 3-4 when you exploit something, so it's not like we can actually get past the bizarre trade mage. But this is a pretty sweet way of... Uh, getting this guy a little bigger. Hmm. That seems all right, but we don't have any other goblins, so it's kind of meh. He's just a 2-2 two, two for three right now. That's a literal hill giant, or gray ogre, not a hill giant. We also don't have a fifth mana, so this is kind of... <sighs> yeah, I don't really care about any of your cards. Of course, they're just going to play this. They're just going to attack with... Well, I guess they got either one of these to attack with, so even if we kill this, like... It doesn't really put us in that much better of a position to avoid the uh, zombie wizard ninja guy. Yep. No attacks with the 3-4, huh? Yep. Never don't have this guy. That'd be great if you didn't have it for one game. I'd be really, really impressed by that. Two spells, huh? Well, at least when that guy dies, we get it back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. I don't know. What's the, what's the point of that even? Just put it in my graveyard? What's the point? What's the deal? Let's kill this guy. Where's my changelings at? Oh, nobody knows. Well, we have nothing to really attack with, so... Oh, God. <laughs> they just go like crypt rats for one. Crypt rats for two is good too. My God, if only one of these guys survived, can you imagine? Thank you. Mon Prada, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> yep. That is uh not gonna do it.
Sometimes the chat gets deadly silent and it's just like, are you guys still there? What did they get back? Uh, Fallen Shinobi and Undead Augur. Oh boy. The only thing I like more than dealing with Fallen Shinobi once is dealing with Fallen Shinobi twice. Well, I'm gonna open a pack to make myself feel better, but it'll probably be like a, a shitty sliver or something. Ready? We got a mirror and an illusion. Ooh, illusion. And then the art card is Pine Watcher for tomorrow. This is the hideaway. The hideaway, gentlemen. Good games. Those were those were BG's AF, my friend. And I don't. Oh, this is the uh, the Naga that like replaces itself. Good games in the sense that like we both played we both played our cards that we had and uh, everyone was cordial and friendly to one another. Uh, BG's in the sense that uh, those games were not even close. And uh, Fallen Shinobi is not a real limited card. What was the other rare? What was the other rare you had? Um, that was very good. I mean, this guy's also ridiculously good as well. There was, a, there was one card in the first game that you had that I was like, oh god. Force of Despair, yeah. Which I don't think is busted and limited. But your first the first game you were like rare, rare, uncommon, and I was like, I see how this is gonna be. Yeah, that eighty eight that Gabby had every match was uh what every game was pretty pretty frustrating. I think there's just so few ways to deal with it. There's ways to deal with it. But, like, if you don't deal with it, you basically die. Which is always frustrating for a magic card. And that's one of the things I like about cube. And uh, I've said this before, but, like, in cube, there's tons of cards that if you don't have an answer for them, you, you die. But the thing about cube is that there are tons of answers for them. I will keep this hand. All right, let's try again. Let's try to not one two with this deck. That seems pretty. That seems pretty good. That's our goal here. That is our goal. This is a nice hand because we can easily discard a land to the rank officer, but also we have enough lands to still do things, and that helps us helps our igneous charger igneous B B goliath i don't know what it's called it helps that dude cost less this card is also grown on me it's basically a 3-3 three, three flyer that gains you a life every turn i mean presuming you can play a creature you know consistently which really shouldn't be that hard Oh, oh god, that's worse. Well, this is awkward. Let's get rid of a mountain here. All right, well. Oh, Grave Shifter with no cards in the graveyard. Cards are great. Not at its best here, but it does deal six damage in the air. Gains them two life. 
That's not nothing. Let's play this bird. Uh, no, I think we're good. Oh, wanted to wanted to attack with this guy, but uh, not 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 to be not. Oh, they're like, mm -mm. oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see, this is a nice combo. That's what's known as a little combo. I'm going to cycle this. Let's see what we get. We got land. Do we win this race? I don't know. It's actually fine. Like now we can keep a land in our graveyard when we magmatic sinkhole, so and believe you me, we're definitely magmatic sinkholing. Four, five, six. Well, we can't kill them yet. Oh, but maybe we can. Oh, what does that do? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my god, we're so close right now. That's hilarious. If we sack this now, we're dealing seven, eight, nine, ten, and they go to three. But the problem is, like, we want to be able to keep these back. So they're at five. And we can deal with we can put them to two. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna pass here. I mean now they're in a situation where they have to birthing bows on their turn. Or else they can't block this guy. And if they spend their turn killing this, then we get to attack for three and then sack two changelings. And this, I guess. So that's six. Thank you. Erk Tenors, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. How have the matches been? Well, we are 1-1 one, one in the draft, and this is our... Uh, we just won game one, so... Shenanigans is not terrible because it does get rid of the uh, the birthing bows. I actually don't hate Diabolic Edict. They didn't seem to have a ton of creatures. Whereas Pyrophobia it might just be worse than Pyrophobia. I almost want to cut one mountain for one one additional swamp because our whole turn one and two are just all black. I also kind of like shenanigans just to get rid of the bows, but maybe not. I think it's fine like this. Let's cut one of the one of the mountains for swamps and then let's draw a literal double double swamp with double black card in hand. Ugh. I think this hand is still good enough, especially on the draw. If we can hit one swamp, it's actually pretty good. We can go turn two goblin, turn three. 
All right, we got one more turn. Turn three this into turn four, like, Ravenous Giant, which seems pretty good. As expected. Oh, are we like, oh, we're both missing land drops. Seems good. Well, we don't have a sacrifice outlet yet, so we can get rid of this goat nap, I guess. Yep, two land and no plays. Right on time. What up, James? Good to see anybody. <laughs> Cue the curb music. <laughs> This is unbelievable. This is actually ridiculous. Totally reasonable game. Turn six, third land. Seems good. Seems good. We got a one three, one three, and a three five, huh? Uh, deal two damage. Okay. Seems seems good. Flying, flying, terrible trade. So the problem is we take seven, and even if we can get rid of one of these guys, we still die to the other, because they're both three power at least. So, yeah, we're just going to scoop.
Good times. If Rob was here, Goat Nap would be an instant. <laughs> Won't you just cast another turn and steal a guy and block? Uh, well, Rob. Got a soldier. Unexciting. Ooh, we got this uh, Goblin Matron art. I get more excited about the art cards than the actual Magic the Gathering cards. And then we got a Deep Forest Hermit. That's nice. Now I don't have to get one of those guys, those guys from my cube, I guess. I will play first. Okay, now we're now we're looking now we're looking all right. Give me that, give me that vampire, and then we got a we got a game here. Oh, they went to five. That's rough. They're on the draw though, and we have no red mana, so. I never look a gift land in the mouth. Unless I draw 16 of them. Yeah, we're just going to play Fountain here. I think it's probably better than uh, one more power onto the board. Because if we get another red, we can play the Ravenous Giant, which I think is a significant improvement. How many lands have mouths? You know, I don't know. I'm just going to activate here. I, too, would like to close out the game. Yep, that is fine. Red. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Last mouth census, 87% of lands reported having mouths. Wow, that's something. That's a high percentage. Who saw that coming? Oh, boy. What's happening right now? Three, four, five, six... This is interesting. Did it increase or decrease from last year's mouth census? Went down, sadly. Wow. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, they're at two now. And now they have died. This guy's pretty unblockable. And even if they, like, gain a life, it's rough. Either way, 2-1, I'll take it. Round 2 is kind of a blowout, but uh, I am still okay with a a, a classy 2-1 finish. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out over at CoolStuffInc.com and ManaTraders.com. You can find the links and the promo codes you can use to save some sweet money in the, in the description below. So check those out. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys next time.